All right, the lesson that we're talking about today is the fourth lesson in the uh, solid geometry unit, volume of right frequency. The homework that goes with it is page 11 and 12. Pause your uh, computer and do this problem. I'm going to cover cubes that are 7 inches wide with fabric for decorations for a party. I am not going to cover the side on the bottom as to save money. If I bought 1,715 square inches of fabric, how many cubes did I cover? Well, here's a picture of a cube, and they're telling us that it is 7 inches wide. So, my cube, 7 by 7 by 7. And we're covering all faces except the bottom. If you look at this, Around the sides, I'll have four, and the top, I'll have five. So, think about this. In this cube, each face is 7 by 7, 49 square inches. And I'm covering five of them. So, I'm going to have 245 cubic or er, square inches on each cube covered. Well, if I bought 1,715 cubic or er, square inches and each cube is doing 245, I'm going to divide to see how many cubes I can cover seven cubes. Now, Make sure you're not covering that bottom. Think about the, air, the surfaces that you want to cover. All right. Again, pause and do this. I love Pringles. If the container is only 20%, well, actually, we can't do this one yet. This is one we'll do after the lesson. All right. Pause and do this one. I'm going to slice this bagel horizontally. I want to know the area of the cross section, so I know how much area I'm going to cover with butter. The diameter of the entire bagel is 6 inches, and the diameter of the hole in the middle is an inch. 6 inches, and this is 1 inch. So, if I slice this thing horizontally, my slice is going to go across, just like you're slicing it with a knife. Isn't my cross section going to look like this? My cross section is going to look like that, and I'm going to put the butter. So, to find the area where I'm buttered, I'm going to find the area of the big circle and subtract out the little hole in the middle. So, area of the large minus area of the small circle. So, I'm going to use pi, or 3.14. So, pi r squared minus pi r squared. So, 3.14 times, the radius of the whole bagel is 3, minus the, the radius of the little circle in the middle is going to be 0.5. So, when I do the math, here I get 28.26, and I'm using 3.14. And then I subtract. And I end up with 27.475 square inches to cover with butter. I am going to decorate the lateral surface area with fabric. If the fabric I want to use costs $1.49 or $1.49 per square foot, how much will it cost to decorate the cylinder? Now, the first thing we need to understand is the lateral surface area would be the outside of the can. Not the top and the bottom. The lateral is here. Now, think about this. If I slice this, doesn't my net of a cylinder look like this? I've got my circles for my top and bottom, and that middle, which is our lateral area, is a rectangle. 
How high is that rectangle? It's 21. And then this right here would be the top of the rectangle, which is the circumference of the circle. So circumference is 2 pi r. If I find the circumference of this circle, 2 times 3.14 times the radius is 5, gives me 31.4. So this is 31.4. Find the area there. Length times width is 21 times 31.4. And I get 659.4 square feet. And they told us that the, the fabric that I want to use is $1.49 per square foot. So I'm going to multiply by $1.49. And I end up with $982.61. All right. Turn in your note packet to page. 14. We are talking about today volume of a right prism. This is on your formula sheet. Volume is capital B times W, where capital B is the area of the base. This is my base. And W is the width. And the width is the distance between the two bases. So you are using this formula for volume of every right prism. Now, if we have a rectangular prism, you're going to use the formula we did yesterday. So let's take a look at a couple examples. Find the volume, we're only doing volume today, of this triangular prism. Well, here's our base. What shape is the base? It is a triangle. Fine. So as soon as we know that it's a right prism, we know we're going to use this formula. Volume equals capital B times W. Capital B is the area of the base. Well, our base is triangle, so one half base times height. So you are looking at the triangle. So one half times the base of that triangle is three, the height is two. When I multiply that, capital B, which is the area of the base, is going to be three. What is our width? Our width is our distance between our two bases, so it's four. So, volume of that triangular prism is capital B, which we found to be three, times the width, which is four. So our volume is 12, and it's going to be cubic centimeters. You are going to use this formula. It's really not a difficult thing, but you, there's a lot of work involved, and you need to pay attention to what the base is. So, we want to find the volume of this cylinder. Well, what's the shape of the base? It's a circle. There is a specific formula for cylinders, so we're going to use this formula. Volume equals capital B times W. And what is capital B? It's the area of the base. So our base is a circle, pi r squared. So 30.14 times the radius of that circle is 5. My area of the base is 78.5. What's my width? Well, the width is the distance between the two bases. 78.3. So my volume is going to be capital B, which I found to be 78.5 times the width, 8.3, and you end up with 651.55 cubic centimeters. All right. This is a rectangular prism. I would, under no circumstance, use the right prism uh, formula. I would find volume is length times width times height. You could use this formula today, but you need to then I very much be very clear about which side you're using as the base. I would not do it this way. What's the shape of the base though? Let's do it a rectangle. And I'm outlining my base in pink. So if I use Capital B times W. 
the area of my base is going to be length times width of the base, which is 5 times 4. So my base will be 20. What would my width be? Well, look at the distance between the two bases. It would be 10. So it would be volume in 20 times 10. But let's look at this. 20 is 5 times 4. Why wouldn't you just do length times width times height and be done with it? I would always just use the rectangular prism formula. Okay, the Robert family uses a container shaped like a cylinder to recycle aluminum cans. It has a height of 4 feet and a diameter of 1.5 feet. The container is full. How much do the contents weigh if the average weight of aluminum cans is 37 ounces per cubic foot? Round your answer to the nearest ten. Well, <coughs> if we're looking for how much this holds, we need to look for the volume. So our volume is capital B times W. Capital B is the area of the base. Well, our base is a circle, so pi r squared. 3.14 times what's the radius? It is, it has a diameter of 1.5, so my radius is 0.75. Half of that. I get 1.77. Now, the width is the distance between the two bases, which is 4. So, Volume is going to be 1.77 times 4, so I get 7.08 cubic feet. Now, it comes back to say that each cubic foot weighs 37 ounces. So, if I multiply by 37 ounces, I end up with 261.96 ounces. Oh, uh, they want us to wrap to the nearest tenth, so 262.0 cubic ounce, or ounces. Find the volume of this prism. Well, it's a triangular prism. Volume is capital B times W. Capital B is the area of the base. Look, they gave us the area of the base. It's 15. So, volume is going to be 15 times, what's our width? 23. I end up with 345 cubic inches. Find the volume of these trapezoidal prisms. Well, here's my base. So, again, we're using the volume formula. Volume is capital B times W. Capital B. Our base is a trapezoid, so we're using our trapezoid formula. And when I substitute, you are looking just at the trapezoid. So, it's one half times the height of this trapezoid is 7. B sub 1 is 8 plus B sub 2, we need to do some work. This middle chunk is 8, and I've got 5 and 5, so it's 18. So, when you find the volume of that trapezoid, you will get 91. Or I'm sorry, the area of the trapezoid, 91. The width is the distance between the two bases, right here, which would be 4. So my volume is 91 times 4, 364 cubic 